Hey everyone, it's Alan over at Cobblers Plus, and today, if you've been following us on Facebook and Instagram, it's finally the day that I'm going to be testing out the Vibram Eaton versus the Vibram Day Night Soul. Do I have those right? Yep, looks like I got them right. So, come join us, check out what kind of stats we have for you, and we'll dive on in. And I'm also going to talk about our control testing as well, because I know a lot of you, when you saw pictures of this, have been commenting saying, well, how are you going to test it because one leg is shorter than the other? I'll answer that in just a little bit. So, join us and check it out. So again, thank you for joining us. And like I said, we're finally testing out Vibram versus Eaton Soul here. So we're going to be diving in as far as the different specs on it. So real quick, because I'm gonna be the one wearing these shoes, the goal of these shoes is to try to see how they compare, how comparable they are between each shoe um, and you know overall durability, traction as well. Right now it's a perfect timing because as the, uh, as the moment, uh, today is the 29th of September. This is when I'm recording this. Hopefully this video will be edited and posted up by the end of the day and stuff, because obviously I've been having some issues with posting content just because of the uh, technical difficulties I have sometimes. But to give you guys a perspective, what I'm gonna be doing with them, I'm gonna be wearing them every single, well, not every single day, every other day, because you do wanna alternate your shoes, wearing the same shoes day in and day out. One wears down the shoes too quickly, and two is not exactly the best thing for the feet. So in order to kind of, you know, be able to test these out properly and as well as not destroy them or my feet i'm gonna wear them every other day i'm gonna track it on a calendar and also mention as far as like the weather because today obviously is the end of september already here in colorado we might be hitting a couple of crazy weather spikes and temperature changes here and there so i'll be sure to be tracking that as well as far as video updates on it i'm gonna be posting every other week so technically that would come out to about a week's worth of wear in other words so again today is the 29th you won't hear back from me about these shoes and the soles wearing uh, for a couple of weeks basically uh, as far as the overall measurements currently they are both identical at uh, the toes and including at the ball the foot and everywhere they are one point uh, or sorry point five inches so half an inch at the ball of the foot because i do have midsoles on both of these as well they are composite all right Yes, composite rubber midsole. And then on the back of the heels, they are 1.05 inches. So just a hair over an inch in the heel area there on both of them. Uh, these are a size eight and a half D. That's what I typically wear, sometimes a little bit bigger, but these ones actually seems to fit. Um, for those of you don't, that may not know, I actually found these at a thrift store and I really liked them. Finally got myself a pair of Red Wing shoes in particular, which is awesome. And then, um, for all you Red Wing fans, as far as the model, uh, that one seems to be a little hard to see with the laces. This is the model 9042, if you're curious about it. Now, going back to me. Yes, we're gonna talk about me. Now, overall length of my legs, they are always off. Everyone's feet are different size. Everyone's leg lengths are different. We measured it out. So my right leg is 39 inches. My left leg is 38 and a half inches. My overall height is five foot 10 and three quarters. If you really wanna know the details, it's five, 10 and three quarters. And uh, my weight is 195. Yes, that's where this belly is coming from. That's, uh, that's most of my weight there now these days. But that's kind of the whole specs. As far as the uh, scenario of where I'm gonna be wearing them every single day, I'm gonna wear them from home to the shop, at the shop, and back home. I'm gonna wear them sometimes on the weekends. Again, I'm gonna be alternating every other day. So it's gonna be a number of different you know, environments I'm gonna wear it in. If the weather is just horrible where I can't wear shoes or something and I have to wear boots to get through the snow because I kind of live out of you know this area where it just, we don't get snow plows out there, so some days I do have to wear boots, but I usually alternate when I get to the shop, and I'll be sure to note that also in my tracking as well, in case I do have to wear boots that day. But if it's mild snow, mild rain, if it's nothing crazy like a foot or something, 
I'm most likely going to be wearing these even in the snow as well. I've got them conditioned. I've got them treated and everything. They're going to be good to go even for the bad weather. Uh, here at the shop, we've got uh, fake wood flooring. So that's kind of like the nice slick surface. In the back area when I, where I mainly run around at is all uh, kind of like smooth concrete. Towards the back, it's still concrete, but with a painted layer over top and also a small area of carpet. At home, we do have gravel that uh, we tend to walk on. We don't really have much pavement out there and uh, on the back parking lot and basically everywhere else I may end up that's paved as well at home we have carpet and tile as well so kind of a great you know transition between a number of different surface areas that I'll be able to test it out on and let you know how it looks I'll be measuring it out uh, to see again every other week I'm gonna measure it out to see the you know the overall wear and everything how things are wearing out uh, I can't tell you for sure, you know, every single day because that's very minute changes. So every day that I wear them, measuring is just going to be kind of redundant almost. So we're going to stick to once every two weeks and see how it progresses. Now, the control aspect of it, like everyone was saying, one leg is shorter than the other. Again, I have a half inch leg difference. Some people do have a significantly more different uh, leg length. Half inch is fairly common. About a quarter to three quarters of an inch is kind of a sweet spot. I actually don't even think I really came across anyone with just a quarter leg length difference that actually is true quarter difference but usually half inch is fairly common so in order to kind of have a control test i've got these guys my other allen edmonds or not my other one of my allen edmonds that uh, were actually gifted to me by a gentleman the name is mark mark probably doesn't watch my videos because he says they're too long all the time he's uh He's, he's one of those guys, basically. He'll watch some of it, but uh, says they're too long. So these here, let's see, uh, where am I looking there? These are a 9D, and uh, they are a bit more of an oil-treated leather. I'm going to have to replace the welt on these. The welt is kind of shot. These ones, thankfully, I did not have to, but I'm still going to replace the welt and do the same exact thing as these I did, except for the soles are going to be switched to the opposite side. So the... Uh, the vibrant is gonna, the sole is gonna end up on the left foot and the Dana is gonna end up on the right foot. And then I'll be able to alternate. I'm gonna do these shoes this week. So we're gonna be a little bit ahead of schedule on this pair right here, but we're gonna have a good control testing between the two, about a week different, a week apart basically from each other. So stay tuned for those ones. And uh, yeah, if you have any other questions or comments, let me know. Otherwise, that's kind of all the basic stuff that you really need to know. And uh, we're just going to examine them, check out where my main wear pattern is. Somebody had mentioned in one of the posts that I had that they did feel the, the nubs from the from the day night right here on the ball of their foot i sh i don't think i should have that kind of issue because again i do have a midsole on there but i'm still gonna be sure to mention if there's anything that i feel in there there is fresh new cork i did pound out the leather insole here so they're pretty much like new shoes for my feet they have to go through a breaking period and everything now at this point as if they're new uh, these ones are gonna have the same exact thing done to them just opposite soles and so i'll be sure to note all of that every time i wear them if i if there's something odd that i feel like the nubs for example this one doesn't protrude as much on the vibram however the day night does a little bit more and uh we'll kind of take it from there again this isn't a full-blown scientific experiment i'm not a professional you know in that industry in other words so doing testing is to the best of the ability that i can if you have any tips or advice on what i should try out or test out for them let me know i am trying to figure out a few additional things to mention that i'm going to test out as the videos go on um at the moment i'm thinking maybe about a six month long period that's about three months worth of wear equivalent every day but we'll kind of recap it at three months and and uh, kind of see where we're at and then just continue on if we need to or say we got we got the picture and maybe hold off on doing the videos instead maybe like once every three weeks at that point we'll see as time goes by again this is kind of a new thing i haven't experimented like this yet and i haven't come across anyone else has so i can't really contact them and say hey what kind of advice do you have for this kind of testing so i want to make this video for all of you i hope everyone enjoys it kind of a sneak peek i guess i won't show you but we are in the process of getting in another sole that's very similar to both of these. And it's going to be one heck of a competitor in the market for 
nice footwear you know even outdoor footwear like kind of like work boots and everything like that so some of you may be hearing about it later this week i'm going to be trying to do a soul talk sunday episode on those soles and the winner of these two is going to go up against that new sole that we're about to be stocking and it's going to be kind of exciting to to kind of compare them as well so stay tuned for that again that will take some time to get around because we have to first get through these shoe these soles here as well as the soles on these ones once we've got that all figured out again the winner is going to be going straight up against this other brand that we're bringing here to the us it's uh from europe it's from the uk and some of you may be already familiar with the brand but some of you may have not known also that they have a sole that's pretty much identical to these but has its own differences so just make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell icon to be notified about the video for these shoes when these ones are done as well and we'll be updating everyone as far as what's going on with the wear patterns and how they're wearing down i'll give you any notes that i've come across with these soles and you'll be also notified for this upcoming sunday for our soul talk sunday episode talking about that new soul that's uh that's coming into play here now so hopefully you enjoyed this video comment down below, below again if you have any questions recommendations or anything like that hit that thumbs up button because it does help our channel grow as well uh, apparently youtube has some kind of algorithm where if you don't give us thumbs ups it our channel doesn't grow enough and i know a few of you have been just hammering away at me hey you need to grow your channel more well apparently there's an algorithm to it and i'm just figuring it out so i'm fairly new still to the youtube game again thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on these shoes or next time on any of the videos we'll see you later